Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So in this video, we're going to proceed to the new chapter, chapter 2, cell structure and function. So for chapter 2, have four subtopic. For subtopic 2.1, prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell. 2.2, structure and function of the cell membrane and the organelle. For subtopic 2.3, cell are grouped into tissue. And for 2.4, it's about cell transport. So in this video, we're going to focus on subtopic 2.1, prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell. Okay, so before that, okay, that is very important to you to memorize the four important things regarding cell theory. Okay, so first you need to know that all living things are made up of cell. Okay, either cellular micro, either multicellular organism or unicellular organism, it must be made up of cell. And then, cell is a basic unit of life which all metabolic process take place. So the smallest unit in organism body is a cell. Okay, the third statement: new cell are produced from pre-existing cell through cell division. So the cell, the new cell is produced through cell division. Okay, uh, either um, process mitosis, meiosis, or in prokaryote undergo binary fusion. Okay, and then for statement number four, each cell carry heritable genetic information that can be passed to the daughter cell during cell division. So every single cell in our body it must consider it must carry our genetic information so that's why kalau kamu tengok CSI ke program-program penyiasatan if the police or uh, pihak berkuasa dapat mana-mana sampel daripada kita punya body sampel sel daripada body dia akan tahu siapakah penjenayah tersebut because tak kisahlah itu rambut ke itu kuku ke selnya akan mengandung genetic information okay so please remember all the four statement okay all living thing is made up of cell cell is a basic unit of life New cell exists from pre-existing cell and then the cell will carry genetic information. So now, let's proceed okay, to the types of organism. We have prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Okay, for prokaryotes okay, and eukaryotes, this thing actually you have learned during your secondary school. So let's take a closer look. Okay. This is a structure of prokaryote organism. Okay. Very simple structure. Okay. Only single cell here show. Okay. And then it has pili, flagella, ribosome, cell wall, capsule, plasma membrane, cytoplasm, and the nucleot. Okay. And here is the eukaryote or eukaryotic cell which can be divided into two plant cell and animal cell. So look at the plant cell, the structure. Okay, it has nucleus. Okay, and then it has Golgi apparatus and other organelle. Same goes to animal cell. Okay, it is so meaning that eukaryotes is more complex compared to prokaryote. Okay, obviously from the diagram we can see that eukaryote the cell is more complex okay compared to prokaryote so in our syllabus you need to know the similarities and also the differences between prokaryote and eukaryote okay so for the similarities according to the structure we can say that prokaryote and eukaryote both surround by plasma membrane okay both have the plasma membrane here cytoplasmic membrane and here is the plasma membrane of plant cell and here is the plasma membrane of animal cell and then both contain chromosome or dna yes because 
in the cell theory state that all cells must carry genetic information so the genetic information is in the dna so either prokaryote or eukaryote it must have dna okay and then both have free ribosome so here is the ribosome for prokaryote and ribosome for plant cell and animal cell okay it, it can lie freely in cytoplasm or attached to endoplasmic reticulum okay and the function of ribosome involved in protein synthesis okay so three similarities between prokaryote and eukaryote next is the difference between the differences between prokaryote and eukaryote according to the structure okay total is nine differences okay let's take a look one by one first the size of prokaryote is small which is 0 0.5 to 10 micrometer in diameter compared to eukaryote the size is large which is 10 to 100 micrometer in diameter okay so cell division in prokaryote mostly by binary fusion so it means the production of new cell okay production of new individual by the prokaryote is by binary fusion okay so prokaryote the example is bacteria so the bacteria reproduce through binary fusion and then for eukaryote the cell division is by mitosis or meiosis Next, for prokaryote, the DNA lies very in the cytoplasm. So, you can see here, this is the nucleoid, okay? And the DNA will lies freely in the cytoplasm. But for eukaryote, the DNA found in the nucleus for both plant cell and animal cell. And then for prokaryote, the DNA is circular shape, okay? So, the DNA dalam bentuk bulat. Then, we call it as plasmid. Okay. For eukaryotic cell, the DNA is linear. But, remember, this is DNA. So, DNA is double strand. Okay. Tak kisahlah dalam prokaryot atau eukaryot. DNA masih lagi dalam double strand. But, the shape of DNA for prokaryote in circular shape but for eukaryote in linear next number five dna associated protein is not histone okay but for eukaryote dna associated protein is histone so we can say that dna of prokaryote not associated with histone protein so histone protein is a type of uh uh yang carry kita punya uh, genetic Okay, information juga and then for eukaryote the dna is associated with histone protein for prokaryote the membrane bound organelle is absent so you take a look okay for prokaryote inside the cytoplasm there is no membrane bound organelle but for eukaryote we can see <coughs> Many organelles here for plant cell. Example, they have mitochondria, they have chloroplasts, they have Golgi apparatus. For animal cell, they have the centriole, they have the mitochondria, and many more. So, let's see that prokaryote do not have membrane bound organelle, but for eukaryote, it has membrane bound organelle. Now, the cell wall of the prokaryote is made up of peptidoc lichen. So, as you can see here, prokaryote has a cell wall. And the component that make up the cell wall of prokaryote is peptidoc lichen. And for eukaryote, yes, the plant cell have cell wall, but animal cell do not have cell wall. And actually, this eukaryote can be divided into five kingdom. Okay. We have Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae, Animalia. And from these five kingdom, five kingdom okay, these plant cell and also fungi, they may have cell wall. For plant, okay, the cell wall is made up of cellulose, but for fungi, the cell wall is made up of chitin. In prokaryote, the flagella 
is with simple microtubule arrangement. But for eukaryote, the animal cell, some will have the flagella, but the flagella with complex microtubule arrangement, which is 9 plus 2. And then since both prokaryote and eukaryote may have ribosome, but then the ribosome is different in size. Okay, for prokaryote, the ribosome are smaller, which is 70S. Compared to eukaryote, the ribosome is large, which is 980S. It's a subunit. Okay, so now you already know. This is the similarities and differences between prokaryote and eukaryote. At least you can remember five differences between prokaryote and eukaryote. Very simple because the tree is based on DNA, structure of DNA, linear, circular, and then location of DNA for prokaryote, less freely in cytoplasm, for eukaryote. Uh, they are in the nucleus and then you can say that also the association of DNA with system protein for prokaryote the DNA is not associated with system protein for eukaryote the DNA is associated with system protein and then you can say about the uh, cell division for prokaryote is by binary fission but for eukaryote is by mitosis and meiosis and then major the major thing okay for prokaryote they do not have true nucleus because you can see in the structure there is no nucleus present but for eukaryote they have true nucleus other than that the major also for prokaryote no membrane bound organelle or you can see uh, you can see it as lack of membrane bound organelle but for eukaryote it has membrane bound organelle so very simple you can state five differences between prokaryote and eukaryote easily okay but now if the question asks you give five characteristic for example uh, give five characteristic to describe prokaryote the five characteristic to describe prokaryote so how can you describe so very simple so why this is called a concept map okay of a very smart way to study now we know the difference between prokaryote and eukaryote so here is all the characteristic of prokaryote and then here is all the characteristic of eukaryote if the question asks you to give five characteristic of prokaryote just name it from all this, you can see that prokaryote is small size. Prokaryote, the DNA lies freely in cytoplasm. Prokaryote do not have true nucleus, whatever. From this statement, same goes to eukaryote. Okay, from the difference, we know the characteristic for each. Okay, now let's proceed. Okay. detail on eukaryotes or eukaryotic cell so as you can see here eukaryotic cell have two types the plant cell and the animal cell and this you learn since form one okay form one kita dah belajar dah plant cell animal cell so sepatutnya memang tak ada masalah langsung so dalam plant cell and animal cell at least you can state three similarities between plant cell and animal cell basic basic okay because they share uh, many things yang sama okay you can first both have plasma membrane both have membrane bound organelle such as mitochondria gogai apparatus endoplasmic reticulum which is rough frame endoplasmic reticulum smooth endoplasmic reticulum itu pun dah cukup untuk nyatakan tiga okay and then the differences ini pun rasanya dari sekolah lagi kamu memang dah hafal okay the major differences okay plant cell have cell wall but for animal cell they do not have cell wall then plant cell will have organelle that specialize for photosynthesis which is chloroplast but animal cell do not have chloroplast other than that as you can see here in the structure clearly show that plant cell have large central vacuole 
but they or tonoplast but for animal cell they do not have large central vacuole so already have three right okay and then in addition okay the animal cell we have centriole which involve in cell division <clears throat> during formation of spindle fiber but in plant cell they do not have centriole okay other than that animal cell have lysosome but not in plant cell okay so here you can see okay other than that the plant cell do not have flagella but for animal cell they may have flagella and in terms of food storage, as we learn in chapter 1, which is subtopic 1.2, carbohydrate, okay, food storage in plant cell is in form of starch. But in animal, the food store in form of glycogen. Okay, so settle subtopic 2.1. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.